thought what we would do is, is uh, quickly show a couple ways to diagnose problems or verify a reversing valve is working correctly. We have a cutout of the valve to show what it looks like on the inside. I've also put a little magnet here that you can watch that shift back and forth. So what we'll do is now go to the live unit, put the magnet on it, and we're going to be able to watch it shift back and forth. So, this unit is running. We've got our magnet on our reversing valve. We're going to shift this to heating, and you can watch that magnet go back and forth. So you know that the reversing valve is shifting, and this is just a low-cost earth magnet that you can get at a lot of different places. Other quick test is to find your two suction ports and try to get a difference in temperature between those two lines. On most modern reversing valves, 10 to 11 degrees, depending on how long it's run, is not a terrible thing. But if it gets much over that, then there could be a possibility of uh, the line bleeding through. So, a touch test for the uh, two uh, common suction ports and then a visual test with a magnet. So that way you can verify, verify the reversing valve is either working or non-working.